ChatGPT just launched three insane updates that affect both the web app and mobile apps. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know what those three changes are and how you could use them to make ChatGPT way more powerful. Okay, so the first update that I have for you is the most minor of all of the updates. So I wanted to get through it first, but now if you come over here and you use something like Canvas right here and you say, please write me a script for a YouTube video about ChatGPT, what you are going to notice, and by the way, this works both when you are coding and when you are writing something. So let's come over here. I'm gonna open up another one. I'm gonna say, please uh, code me a really simple landing page. And again, we're gonna come over here. We're going to do this in Canvas. If you don't know what Canvas is, it's when it pulls this up like this over here. So we could see that this is coming through. This is actually writing us a script right here. Once this is done, I will be able to show you exactly what that new feature is. And if we come over here, we'll see that this is coding out a simple landing page like I had asked, and we could actually get to this coding one first. So if we click on download now, you will be able to download this as a bunch of different things or you can now share this by clicking on create link right here essentially the new feature is that you can now download things from canvas and if we come over here we'll see that this is done and we'll see the same thing we could download this as a pdf as a markdown document or as a microsoft word document and again you do the same exact thing with code depending on what it is actually written in and this is a massive upgrade because in the past you weren't able to do this you had to copy and paste this or do something else quite frankly ChatGPT was really behind on this because the other platforms in their projects in their gems and the other features like this actually allow you to do those things. Now, the next update that I have for you is actually what's showing on the screen right here in the screenshot because I didn't want to lose it when it first popped up for me. So projects can now do more. If you don't know what projects are in ChatGPT, I will come over here and actually come into one. So essentially, projects allow you to, we could come in here and name this. We can name this AI video scripts. We can create a project. And what this allows you to do is this allows you to put in custom instructions in here. And then if you come over here, you can upload a bunch of different files. Now what this does is supercharges ChatGPT. The reason that it supercharges ChatGPT is because it allows you to give custom instructions and in these project files, ideally what you should be giving it is what the ideal output that you want is going to look like. For example, if you want ChatGPT to write newsletters for you, you would upload a bunch of good newsletters. If you wanted ChatGPT to write scripts for you, you would upload that. You could also upload any other types of documents, any code files, any images, and so much more. For example, if you want to chat GPT to do your taxes, I'm not necessarily recommending that you do that. Do that at your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor. You could upload all of your past tax returns in here and then all the files that you needed to upload to get your taxes done. And then you could chat back and forth with chat GPT inside of a project and be able to do that. And again, it basically allows you to customize chat GPT and train chat GPT in a custom manner. But as we can see here, now within chat GPT projects, you can run deep research and and you can use voice mode. And these are two massive upgrades for several different reasons. One, it's really great now that you could chat back and forth with one of these projects by just using voice mode. If you have not tried out voice mode on ChatGPT yet, I would strongly suggest that you do it. It is a massive upgrade. I cannot emphasize how important this upgrade actually is because it just makes it way easier to be able to interact with ChatGPT if you're on the go, if you're busy, if you're doing something important. I want you to think about it. You can talk way faster than you can type, which makes voice mode a no-brainer. In addition to that, being able to run deep research in here is a huge upgrade because now you can pull in deep research into your projects. In the past, you would have to do deep research in a different window, and then you would have to actually bring all of that knowledge into projects, but we don't have to waste time doing that anymore. Let me show you an example. So if we come over here and we come into this YouTube titles project right here, we can see that I don't actually have anything in here yet. But if I wanted to, I could add in instructions, I could add in files, and if you come into one that is actually used, you'll see all these different chats here. Now, they also did a silent upgrade where they actually increased the memory that projects have within them so that you don't have to keep joining the same chat in order to get a good response, and they just made that a lot better the same way that they have across all of ChatGPT. Now, if we come over into here, what we can see now is we can run deep research, and we can run deep research with a bunch of different sources. So I'm gonna turn off Gmail right here. And what I'm gonna say is please do deep research 
around what makes a perfect TikTok script. I want all of the information possible on this so I can add it to my file. Now, we could actually have this run deep research from within here. It's going to specify a few things. I'm going to say education, insights, tailored towards everybody. I'm going to say tailored towards everyone. I'm going to say organic reach and all three for number four. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to go ahead. This is going to actually dive in. It is going to do deep research. And then again, it will then be saved inside of this project, all the stuff that they get from that. Or what I could do is I could copy whatever this research actually comes back with. And guess what? I will be able to then add it into the knowledge of this project. So now you're not accumulating things on ChatGPT in silos when you're using projects. Now you're accumulating all of that knowledge under one roof. And if you aren't using ChatGPT projects to its full potential, you're missing out on one of the most powerful things that ChatGPT can actually do. But before I show you exactly how to use this, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. One other thing that's really cool is I actually just saw this pop up on my phone. If I come over to my phone, I could see this deep research inside of here on my phone and then I could get a notification when it's actually done so I don't have to sit here on my computer Computer or if I want to go walk the dog or do whatever. Now, in terms of how I actually use ChatGPT projects, this right here has saved me an incredible amount of time. I have this for my YouTube script. So if we come into instructions, we could see that I gave this pretty simple instructions right here, and then I put in a project file. If we actually come over to this file over here, we're gonna come over here and type in script outline, and I will be able to open this right here. Now what you'll see is that I have given this the the ideal output that I want from a YouTube script. I have one outline, I have a second outline, I have a third outline, and now I can literally come over to this and just tell it exactly what I wanna make a video about and it will go ahead and do it. For example, I'm gonna open up a new chat right here. I'm gonna put title. I'm gonna put uh, chat GBT's latest model update is insane. I'm gonna put new GBT5 model. Now, what this is going to go ahead and do is this is going to instantly begin writing me a script based on one of my outlines. And we can see that this is going to do a really good job. And look at this. This is literally exactly how I script out my videos. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how the GPT-5 model is changing the AI game forever, how you can use it, stay ahead of 99% of people. This is the same model that OpenAI is rolling out to their top enterprise partners. And it's the same tech that powers users and developers that are building businesses, automating their workflows, and unlocking wild new users use cases, but here's a warning. If you skip any of the updates I'm going to share, you won't get the full benefits. And then it goes through step one, goes through step two, goes through step three, step four, step five. And guess what? This has saved me an incredible amount of time, especially now that we can pair deep research with this. We could come over here and have it search the web and we could have it write this in a canvas if we wanted to so we could download it or we could send it to somebody else. This right here is incredibly powerful. It used to take me hours to script out and research my videos, but guess what? Now I can literally do it in 30 seconds when you build out one of these projects like this. And you could use this for so many different things. You could use this for financial modeling, for writing things, pretty much anything that you could think of, you could build a project out for. What I would strongly recommend that you do is you could see over here, I have one for YouTube scripts, TikTok scripts, YouTube titles, and then I have a bunch more in here, fixing my finances, a bunch of stuff like that. You want to build these out for each siloed thing separately, again, because you want to be able to keep these things separate. You want to think about this as your AI employees, each one of these projects. You wouldn't have the same employee do operations, do marketing, and do finance unless you didn't want a thriving business. The same thing with ChatGPT projects. You want to split them out so that they're super specialized, have great memory, all within each area that they're actually focused on. And now, that last update that I have for you are around different changes to ChatGPT's mobile app. Now, if you come over to ChatGPT, you can click on advanced voice mode right here and, and do some pretty crazy things. For example, if you click on this camera right here, it is going to show what is happening in your real life. For example, I will show you the crazy view that I have right now because I am sitting in a hotel actually recording this video. 
Now, obviously, that was more of a fun example, but you could use this to show it things and ask for feedback, ask what those things are, ask how much they cost, or so much more. Now again, that's just one example. The second thing that you can do is you can actually share your screen with it now. Check this out. You literally just come over here. You are going to click on these three dots. You are going to click on share a screen. And now you're going to be able to share ChatGPT on whatever different windows or tabs you have up. And again, it can then give you feedback of what you're doing on your phone or help you with tech support or anything that you want after you share your screen with it. I'm not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you how to turn on MCP with ChatGPT so that you can connect it to your email, to your calendar, and so much more. I'll see you over there.